What you're seeing in front of you probably looks very familiar to you if you went to school or college or worked in an office building in about 2007. It's a Dell 745, again manufactured in 2007. Now, by all measurable accounts, this computer is literally speaking 10 years old at the time of recording this video. That makes it extremely, extremely old in computer years. My basic question is how usable can a computer like this be with some mild upgrades? Now, it's not going to be used for anything overly difficult, it's just going to be used for mild Photoshop and photo editing. So I decided to do some upgrades and find out. Now, stock this computer rolled out with Windows XP, which is a 32-bit operating system. But this computer does have a Core 2 Duo, which means it's capable of running 64-bit. So what I'll be doing is installing Windows 10, and also I'll be upgrading the RAM. This computer came stock with either 5, 12, or 1 gigabyte of RAM. Right now it has 2 gigs of RAM split up into 4 different 5, 12 RAM sticks. If you add in 667 megahertz RAM, this computer can handle 8 gigs of RAM. If you decide to go with 800 gigahertz RAM, it can only handle 4 gigs. So I'll be installing 8 gigs of 667 megahertz RAM, and I will also be installing a uh, micro SD 3.5 inch floppy drive, which basically it will allow this computer to read a lot of different memory cards in form factor, and I'll also be installing a external Wi-Fi card made by TP-Link. Now I bought all this stuff for less than $100, including the operating system, and I want to be we will see what I can do with a computer that's less than maybe $125. I feel that the capabilities of a modern day computer are not that much off from a 2007 computer, with most of it being focused on optimization. I will also be installing some new thermal paste because the one that's in right now is 10 years old and does lose a lot of its cooling properties over those 10 years. All that being said, let's get started. So here we have easy access to all four RAM sticks. And as you can see there are five 12 sticks of RAM totaling in two gigs. So to go from two to eight is a bit of an upgrade. Now again, if you're going to upgrade this computer to 8 gigs of RAM, you cannot run 800 megahertz. You have to be running 667 megahertz. 800, it will only accept 4 gigs. Okay, so the next step is going to be the Wi-Fi card itself. Now one concern I did have when picking out a Wi-Fi card was the fact that this computer can only accept low profile cards. Luckily I found this TP-Link with TLWN881ND Wi-Fi card which is a low profile card. a small screwdriver. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the full size faceplate off and I'm replacing it with the low profile faceplate that was provided by TP-Link in this box. I got this one for $17 at Fry's. You can probably get it cheaper online. Here's a smaller one right here. Now the next step is to stick this in the PCIe slot right here.
Up next is going to be the card reader install. Now you can pull this little tab out right here. That pulls that out. Now for that you're going to want to release the hard drive. Lift that up right there. To this internal USB port right in here. So we got this card, this card reader installed. Since I've made several videos in the past of me installing Windows 10 into numerous different machines, I'm not going to go in and show you every single detail of the overall installation process of this computer for the simple fact of the matter is that it'll take too long and it'll just add too much time to the video that nobody will want to watch. Once you've seen one Windows 10 install, you've pretty much seen them all. In summary, with this computer, I'm actually pretty happy with the way it turned out. All the parts I installed worked, which is pretty rare. The little $4 memory card reader I got off Amazon is working with no issues whatsoever. You put something in it, it reads it, goes in the computer, everything works. Uh, the internal Wi-Fi adapter that went in the slot in the rear works fine, but I don't think it picks up 5G Wi-Fi, but I don't think this computer could take advantage of that anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. All RAM sticks are functional, and overall I'm pretty happy with the install. My only issue is it's a little laggy on the internet and are on edge when I try to go to websites, and I don't have a slow internet at all, so it's definitely not that. So I went down into the start settings and I noticed that when I was moving the cursor through the home bar or whatever it's called, it's a little laggy. So I'm gonna guess that there's some issue inside this computer that I'll have to find out. It's a little odd to that a 2.1 GHz processor with 8 gigs of RAM is having trouble navigating the OS, but honestly, it's nothing I can't fix. I also got this really weird uh, dialog box when I got into the, the actual profile itself, saying that I was unable to log into the account. Now it also said that nothing will be saved in this account, I'll figure that out. Overall, everything works, nothing broke along the way, so I'm giving this a yay, it worked. Now if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to leave comments down below on things I could have done better, I would definitely appreciate that. Gotta love the constructive criticism that YouTube is so often known for. And I got a lot more videos coming out. I have, uh, I finally got the parts in for the Chevy Volt. I'm going to be installing that maybe this Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever I get a day off. I have the Nissan Leaf stuff I still want to do. I am going to neochrome those headlights, whether it works or not. I'm trying it again. I found the headlight for the CB250, the LED one that I bought a while ago. I'm going to be installing that, and I might get the CBR600RR on the road again. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some pretty awesome shots from basically whatever I can. Anyway, have a good one guys. Do whatever you do on the internet. Also, something I forgot to mention, all the links to everything that was used in this video will be in the description below.